power to offer this sacrifice. Give me the strength to give to you. What is all this? My life. The fruit of my work, all gathered here. And now, I lack the strength to throw it off this cliff. You carried everything up here, only to throw it all down. The horse did most of it. It is the only way I can send my belongings into the next world. My children will not bury it with me. They say they do not want it. But I know they will sell it all once my light burns out. Will you lend me your strength? Throw everything over the cliff. The farther you throw, the better their chance of reaching the next world. Is that how it works? Why is everything packed in straw? I did not want anything to break. That contains a bow given to me by Hafton the Black, after I put an arrow under King Sigtid's left arm. That sounds like quite the shot. That contains a drinking horn I received from King Hafton for capturing his bride, Ranghil. Huh. That contains a silver harpoon head I received from King Harold, for pulling Haftan's frozen body out of the ice. They are a generous family. You missed a few things. The gods will get the idea. Thank you for your help. You did not have to do this. Kind and courageous people live the best lives. But it can be a difficult path to keep. I have tried to live well. It is enough that the gods know that, even if the name Harek Gand is forgotten in Midgard. So, what will you do now that this task is done? Done? That was to announce my arrival. Now I leave this world. Enjoy your life. To Asgard! What? Wait! Thank you! Thor's hammer. That was a shock. What is all this? Who bangs the drums of war? Look at you! A battle-hardened vikinger! <laughs> Just what we need. Oh, and what do you need this battle-hardened warrior for? One day, we will be the greatest warriors beneath our banner. Skulls will write songs off the wolf pack, but we must first practice our raiding. <laughs> Going on a raid? Then we shall raid. Three wolves and I will be forced to your lead. Wolf pack! Onwards! Wolf pack! They ran. Four warriors, like four limbs of one clawing body. Each limb built to kill. Destroy. They arrived at the village. Torches, axes, and blades at the ready. Ready for the slaughter. To war! Ah! Bam! An arrow flies right into the body of an enemy. And battle. The big wolf 
Successful raid. Yes. With your help, we slaughtered the Raven Clan for good. The Raven Clan, you say? Yes. Just like Chotve Yal's stories. One day I'll be just like him. Catless young raiders. I'll see you wolves on another battlefield one day. Does everyone in Alrekstar there play their love game so loudly? No, it's just my husband. He cannot satisfy his wife! Ah, old age? No, he's still young and fit. It was not always so. He could not keep us apart when we were raiding. He, he would plow you during raids. Our first time was in the middle of a burning village. After a while, the crew made us stop. They said it was... distracting. Love can burn brighter near death. Have you tried revisiting these memories? Yeah, but talking about it is not the same. I need to feel it. Smell it. So you need to bring the excitement of the raid into your bed. You could help us pretend we are raiding. That will make my water flow. Come, we must tell my husband. I was only, uh... well... All right. Grab your weapon, you big, strong vikinger. Today we raid. A raid? Now? Join me in the blood dance. Fill me with your battle lust. Oh, yes, yes. Let us go, Viking. Maybe you will start by breaking things. Scream as you do, like it is really happening. Amusing, but not arousing. Yeah, it does not feel real enough. Maybe you need more fire, like your first time. Yes! Burn down our house! Burn it to the ground! Then run me like the Valgrin skates and enter Valhalla. Take all plunder you want, Vikinger. And take us also and let the love hunger consume you. Another time, maybe. But I will help myself to your chest. Taken by bandits! Come quickly! A Yarl taken by bandits! If you are as brave as you appear, you will come! You will be well rewarded! Hurry, or they will kill him! Kill him? Do they not want a ransom? Just hurry! We are near! Go, go on, they are up ahead! 
You know where they are. You lead. Fine. Follow me. Pathetic gamble has cost them their lives. They threatened to kill me if I did not help. So to save your life, you led others to their death. Our village was burned by Kjotve the Cruel. We had to flee to the forest. Those who survived grew mean and desperate. Olaf, one of the men you killed, said we had to fight for our land. But he only wanted to kill for silver. There was no need for this fight. Kjotve is dead by my hand. I have lifted his boot from your neck. Olaf, you lifeless fool! You almost murdered our rescuer! Your second mistake was choosing me as your prey. That was not a mistake. Y you looked like a good fighter. I, I was hoping you would kill or weaken Olaf so I could escape. You are young and still foolish, so I will spare you your life. But cross me again, or harm anyone I cherish, and you will join your friends in Helheimer's foul forests. You, you will never see me again. Uh, I will be a white rabbit in the snow. to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be around here somewhere. I think there are some spots you missed. What are these men hunting for? My comb. Whoever finds it wins an evening of my company. Care to join them? I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. My blood freezes. I think this is yours. Halt in your search. A winner. And my comb have been found. Now, the price for finding my comb is some of my time. A walk in nature. Maybe more, if that is where our conversation takes us. I see. Lead on. You are different than the kind my flight so fancy attract. Burdened. Decorated and... Delicate. Delicate. The others, they are like clubs. Blunt and ungainly. You are nimble. Like a knife. Are you so in need of suitors that any passing woodsman or viking will do? I was married once. 
My Alfie died five winters back. Ours was a perfect marriage. I do not need another. But am I to go the rest of my days without love or attention? I think not. And the comb? Could be a comb, could be a brooch, or an arm ring. So long as it's lost, and to be found by a helping hand. Any good tales come of this? Once I thought the same man had stumbled across me three times. Gave me a fright. Turned out to be triplets. If this comb is worth nothing to you, what shall I do with it? You could keep it. Comb your hair. Or... I could comb it if you like. Comb my hair? Is that why those men scrambled over each other? I could do more than comb your hair. Find all your nuts and snags and tame them. If you'd like. My shoulders are tense. And my hair is a tangle. I could use a softer touch for these kinks. Then let me. Mmm, delicate touch. Indelicate voice. This was fun, Eivor. Hold on to the comb, as a keepsake. Thank you, Beel. You tamed some knots I haven't been able to reach myself. on his watch. That would explain some things. <laughs> Ivan, wake up! Or you will be cast into the wild! Must stay awake. They could be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? They are everywhere. If we die, everyone dies. <clears throat> Must not fall asleep. Need to see them coming. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge! Is he going to ride the rope slide? Windy. Storm coming. <laughs> Ivan! Ivan! Calm down. You are asleep. No! I was flying through the air! In your sleep. A harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up, and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch, and sleep when you're in bed. But now, report back before you're labeled a deserter. Go. and fertile shores. I did not expect to find anyone on this island. 
And why not? This is England, home to a nation of Saxons and Danes. Our shores are open for trade. England? That is not what I expected. Many from Norway find the trip dizzying, but fortunately you have me to guide you. I know the land better than my own son. Are you all right? My son, nesting with the pigs north of Hadrian's Wall. Who knows what schemes they're hatching, or the sort of people they might send to spy on me. You said something about a tour? Oh, of course, of course, a tour. Follow me. This is the city of London, first built by the Romans during ancient times. We have not seen builders like that since. I guess they had to work with what they had. These are the Dover Cliffs, famous for their bluebirds. Hmm. Here is Jorvik, the Dane city of trade. Keep this between us, but King Alfred has a plan for Jorvik. I see. This is Hadrian's Wall, our last line of defense against the barbarous Picts. It is a line of sorts. At the end of our tour is Winchester, the heart of Wessex, where... Where is King Alfred? Those honorless Picts, they have taken the king! We must seek them north of Hadrian's Wall! Where are you, my king? Well, I'm sure he is somewhere. Do not worry, my king! I am coming! King, what happened? Why won't you speak? Who in hell's name are you? Why are you going through my things? Thor's balls you found it. Why did you take it back? You set him off again, traitor. The king won't speak to me. You cut out his tongue. He has no tongue. Because you cut it out. You're his son? Do not feed this fantasy. His wits wither and become those of a babe. I took him here to ease his madness, but it grows worse. I try using reason or playing along, but he hears only what he wants to hear. Only what he wants to hear. I have an idea that could help, if you let me. Old man, your king is worn out from his ordeal. I can hear him speak very softly. He is praising you. He wants to thank... Heasing. 
He wants to thank Hsing for his loyalty to the crown. What else does he say? The Picts, terrified at word of your approach, will pledge themselves to the crown if you spare their lives. They will? And they agree to pay a daily tribute of food and other goods in exchange for free passage through your lands. Oh, it is a good deal and greater news. Thank you. You may leave the king in my care now. This will only lead to further delusion. You will know at least that he eats every day. And maybe someday the fog will lift. Forgive my ill will. I knew this would be a difficult end, but sometimes the weight bears down heavily. There's courage and honor in what you do, and the gods know it. Good luck to you. Looks like England is united. The Picts have been fine subjects. King Alfred is pleased. The peace holds. For now. Them. Welcome, warrior. Silke Silvertongue offers wonders from across the Nine Worlds. Rare objects. Priceless artifacts. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. But I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit? These items do not look very impressive. Like this old shoe. That belonged to the first Christian Pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their god. They would need it with that shoe. And there's an old leather strap. A shield strap? Belonging to the hero Sigurther when he fought the great beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. What about that helmet? That was the helmet Halfden the Black War when he died in battle. It will protect you, and bring good crops! That is a lie. It was the helmet my father Varen wore the night he was killed. Eh? Eivor? I know you now, Silke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Kjot repay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kjot. I ran! Coward! I should cut you down. No! I did no harm! I... like you could handle yourself in a fight. Eivor Wolfkist, is that you? It is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered you remember. It was the first time Styrbjorn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. In fact, I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested? How? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Huh. Show me your pics. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. Even a couple of farmers hungry for excitement. How do they compare to me and Sigurd? There is no comparing. You are building some reputation, Eivor. They are talking about you up and down the coast. Good talk or bad? Depends on who you talk to. Mostly good. Do not worry about the bad. No. They should worry about me. <laughs> this is my raiding crew, Eivor. But they lack in experience they make up for in other areas. 
together, we will hammer these lumps of meat into men and women of iron, into raiders. So which from this unlucky lot would lead your crew? See that big brute, Odbjorn? He does not speak much, but he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashild the Keen. Her blade is as quick as her wits. And then, there is Thorgils. Rolf! Who is your friend? Keep your head on the fight or someone will crack it. All right! That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield. But the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So, those three, yeah? I've handled more. You want to fight them all at once? Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need a test with no rules. Challenge them, but do not damage them. It was hard enough finding this many. Listen up, you sea slugs. This is Ava Wolfkist, who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Ava Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great. You want to lead my crew? You must fight Ava. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that, no rules. Understand? I am ready! <gasps> Fight! The raider needs to be ruthless. I am better than any man here! You have much to learn. have to fight me first. Maybe you want to sit back down. No, no, I will be fine. And do not worry about me. Worry about yourself. You're finished! <laughs> Did you see what you were looking for? Yes. I did not think Thorgils could do it, but he is thick-headed. Like his old man. <laughs> Wait. That is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown, and now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. Take some silver for your trouble, and a little extra, for cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck. Be careful, or be cursed! Foul magic gathers here! A pestilence poisons this land! What is this menace you shout about? Is it some creature you hunt? My prey is the most cunning of beasts. Capable of vile deeds beyond the ability of any common animal. You are hunting someone, then? A warlock. One who once called himself a man, but has since befouled his hoover. His whole being with twisted Seder magic. This has the feel of something more personal. The evil spider who squats in yonder hut poisoned my own sister. For that alone, it deserves to die. But maybe you would be moved to help by the bounty King Harald has offered for any warlock killed. Prophet can persuade where passion fails. I will weigh this against the effort. The Warlock makes its lair down this road, to the left. Keep an eye out! to face me, finally? Or will you continue to harass me from afar?
Are you the warlock who laid a curse on this land? There was a curse here long before I came along. A curse of ignorance that infects all of Midgard. So you're not using your magic against this land and its people? I try to use my knowledge to help others. I am only a threat to those who fear the unknown, of which there are many. There's a hunter who believes you poisoned his sister. I tried to save her. I made a mixture that would have burned away her illness, but he chose to drench her in pig's blood. If there is any blame here, it lies on him and his ignorant kin. He killed his sister. Do not listen. He will poison I'm our thoughts. You have no thoughts to poison. Die, no. monster! To hell with you! Ah, God curse you! Men like this are more dangerous than any magic. They kill wisdom. You may claim his belongings. His body, I will give to the land. Is honor to be found. I feel I am going round and round. You arrived without a sound. Are you a scald? I have never heard poetry shouted in this way. A scald? Oh no, not at all. I am truly looking for honor and have become lost as a result. You're looking for honor here? It's a bit remote. I am the seventh son of a seventh son. I am expected to bring great honor to my family. But everything has been done. My uncles and brothers have all had great victories, or even greater deaths. There's nothing left for me to do. The gods have been deaf to my pleas, but you are here. So you want a great victory from me? Or a great death? No! I want to live, and I could not possibly hope to win against you. That is true. But maybe you could lead me to a victory. I can tell by looking at you, you're not a great warrior. You know it too. There's no reason to deny this. I could bring you a chance at honor. An animal of some kind. Something you could handle. Yes, yes. That could work. I could add a few details. Nothing too exaggerated. Skulls do it all the time. So now you're a skull. Do not go anywhere. I will only do this once. I will be here. On my honor. A few stabs in. How was your first kill? Gods! I have never felt so alive! My Hooger soars on Raven's wings! With this rebirth comes a new name. From this day, you will be called Erland Wolfwhip, Killer of Curse. Oh, it suits me. You know, now that I think about it, I think my story should be told in verse. Farewell, beast-baiter. 
violent wolf whip. Hear my name and no fear. Run and hide amongst the trees and thickets, wolves. Run and hide amongst the trees and thickets, wolves. Ireland Wolf Whip comes your way! Wait, was that a wolf howling? 